Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. Just trying to change them to fit what you want them to be is like trying to change a dog into a cat, a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 104, NASDAQ's up 149, SP's up 34. Gold, gold contract down $6.40, trading at 1910 an ounce. We have silver up three cents, twenty-one dollars ninety-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down three dollars eighty-two cents, seventy dollars ninety-seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down twenty-six ticks, trading one thirteen twenty-six. The thirty-year full point plus twenty-six at one twenty-nine twenty-nine. And king dollar, king dollars up twenty-five ticks, trading one zero three six eighteen. The euro is at one zero seven. The yen's at one thirty-four, and the British pound is at one twenty-one to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We'll get into the futures because the futures want to go after this high-volume swing low that we just got 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago. And it's going to be intriguing because if you break it, it's going to go all the way down to the bottom of it. So right now, you're... We had a high in the S&Ps out here today, folks, of 39.72. So we've already just given up uh, 50 points, 50 S&P points. That being said, bottom line, you can give it all up. Uh, the, what it's going after right now is going to be this 39.11. If you get volume on 39.11, then see, you don't want to be here. You can go right down to the very end. So uh, let's see where we're at here. You got, so we're going to start another bar in one minute. And this bar here, the bar that we're going to go into has 44,000 contracts coming up here. We are at 29 right now. But as I said, this is where this always gets dangerous, man. If you go right, if we're going to start this bar right at it. Well, look, look at it. It's going right after it right now, man. Okay, hold it. There it is. <laughs> you love markets, man. This is crazy. Okay, so we just banged it. We just hit it. Now the question is going to be, it's, there's no way that's going to do that many volume. Well, oh, no, hold it one second. Let's see, what do we got? 34. Oh, my God, that was quick. Hey, we'll find out. You got, uh, it's hard to, I don't have a second clock on this. So we'll see how this shakes out, man. But uh, now, if you close, so right now, what is that number? That's 39.13. We just hit it, and, okay, so it's starting another one. Okay, it's starting, it's starting another one at 14. You start going south here, folks, then it's, see, you don't want to be up. Because then what you could do, you could go all the way down, and this would be a total mind blower. Uh, we could go down to 38.85, which was the low of today. Yeah, that's what happens in bear markets. That's the bottom line. NQs, we go over to the NQ. We take a look at the NQ out here. There she is. Okay, so we take a look at the NQ. It's going to be the same setup. Um, Pull this back. Okay, so what the NQ just did, NQ just broke it. That number there on the NQ is 12,192. You're 10 points below it now. You had the expansion of volume. You're into the 12,203. Oh, yeah, you're in that deep. Hey, that's, this thing can go all the way down to the bottom now. Pretty amazing. Gotta love bear markets, man. I mean, they're just, <laughs> they're just so wild. It's unbelievable. Gold. We go into the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? It's holding up well. Uh, back, really sideways move with light volume. Yesterday, I think we did 300 and something thousand contracts. Let's see what we have here. So yesterday, 452,000 contracts. And today, only got 245 on the back down. And if we go to King Dollar, we take a look at King Dollar. You have a sideways move with King Dollar out here today. Um, you know, not, it's really, it's up 16 ticks, but it's really not holding price. So we'll see where this whole thing shakes out. Now, check this out. This is, this is, I had an, like a, well, I don't know if it's an epiphany last night, folks, but you know the, the bailout? I don't think the bailout, here, check this out. This is, this is my take on this bailout. 
Because I about nine thirty last night. You know, you, you know, you're doing mental calisthenics, and you know, if you're in this business, you do that all the time, right? And I start figuring it out. And here, this is my take on it. Okay. So Silicon Bank, we know that they had a bad trade, right? So the bad trade is the treasuries, right? So they bought the treasuries. That bank buys the treasuries. The treasuries turn negative, right? For the bank in a monster way, right? The bank goes bankrupt, right? Okay. The Fed says the treasuries are worth 100 cents on the dollar. When we know that the Fed treasuries are not worth 100 cents on the dollar, the treasuries at that particular point, the, the 80 cents on the dollar, right? The Fed comes in and says, okay, even though you have 80 cents on the dollar, we're going to lend you 100 cents on the dollar. My take on this, folks, is that the Fed was actually not saving the bank. The Fed is saving the treasury market. Because so picture this. Picture how many banks have the treasuries on their books that are in losses for billions and billions of dollars. We know we're in the fiat system, and the fiat system basically is like a, you know, wouldn't, it's not a fake system because it's a system, but basically it's a system that the Fed could do whatever they want to do. And this is a typical example of something being worth X and the Fed saying, well, in the market that's X, but we're going to make it worth X plus Fed. And I think that is the bigger issue. I think that's the bigger issue. And when you put it together, it's telling me that I bet they were shaking in their boots beyond belief because the, Fed, the, 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 the deal would be all these banks that have treasuries, you know, and of course we know that because we've had so much debt, it's like if some people stop buying our debt, okay, what do you do? So the regulation itself is a regulation to keep our treasury market up because the regulation itself, okay, is saying, it's like me and you. Can you imagine? You trade something, and it's worth 80 cents, but then, you know, they'll say, oh, you have 100 cents on it. It's not even, it's not even real. So that's where we're at. And <laughs> it's, it's amazing, man. Dow. Dow, it just gave it up. The whole, this market's going to pull all the way back. It'll probably go red before I'm off the air. Dow Industrials right now up three, Nasdaq's down, up 104, S&P's up 19. Stay right there, we'll come right back. <laughs>